Hey guys, Skelly Crafter here, and today we blend in style. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make 3D Minecraft tall grass in Blender. And that's a mouthful, 3D Minecraft tall grass. I mean, you might as well just say tall grass, right? Okay, enough rambling. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Now, this is an actual 3D model. This isn't, you know, like a, uh, you know, like a plane with an, like, texture slapped on it. Because that doesn't really have the nice aesthetic look. You know, it's a bit like Slammer Cow's grass. It's like 3D, it waves. Now, I'm not going to teach you how it waves. But I'm going to teach you how to make grass. Making grass is relatively simple. You don't need to do that much work. This is going to be based off the... 3D pickaxe video that I made a few weeks ago because I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm going to texture it like it is, but then I'm going to, you know, duplicate it and I'm going to do some stuff to it. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the particle system to put grass everywhere because, you know, you've got this. This will also have elements of the importing Minecraft worlds tutorial because if you don't know how to import Minecraft worlds into Blender, then you're kind of screwed here because, you know, how are you going to make grass but not know how to import Minecraft worlds? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I'm currently using the scene for the Minecraft tips tutorials series that I'm making. Not Minecraft tips, just tips in general. So, that's why there's, like, water here. I've made a tutorial on the clouds already, so you can click those three videos in the top. And, yeah, let's get started with this tutorial. da 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 da, -da. So guys, now we're going to need to open up a new Blender world. Blender world? A Blender file, you know, because Blender worlds exist. So yeah, I'm just opening up a new Blender file, and we're going to get started right into this tutorial. Please load quicker, please. Okay, done. Okay, so this is the cube. We do not need the cube, so delete the cube, everybody. That's, that's what I'm saying. We also want to delete the lamp, so you right-click. You know, I I'm assuming you know the basic stuff. How to use Blender, like, you know, the UI and stuff. And you're going to click X and delete. Now we're going to drag this, and we're going to click on the world, and we're going to click on ambient occlusion. So, first things first, you're going to click 1, and then click 5. And then you're going to click Shift A, or you're going to go to Add at the bottom right here. And, mm, actually, Add doesn't seem to work. So, yeah, you have to click Shift A, then go to Mesh, and then click Plane. Okay, so this is your grass. It may not look like grass, but I assure you it is grass. So now we're just going to drag this in, you know, drag this on the axis into the middle right. And we're going to click on 1 again, click on 5, and we're going to rotate this 90 degrees along the X axis. So now it is facing us. So this is going to be exactly like the 3D pickaxe video, which is why I strongly suggest you watch it. Because we're basically slapping on the same texture. So we're going to go to material in the properties tab. I'm pretty sure this is called the properties. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Yep, that is the properties. We're going to create a new material. We're going to turn up the intensity. Turn down the specular. And then we're going to turn the material to black. So click on this. You know, drag it down. We're going to click on the textures tab. We're going to click on the textures tab. And we're going to click new. And then we're going to open the texture file that includes the grass. So this is found in your Minecraft files. You could just go online and find like a Minecraft uh, textures.png. So I'm going to open. Is that a plane in the background? What, what was that? Okay. And then you're going to click open and look for the file, which is going to take forever. So guys, after nine years of searching for this tall grass texture, I just decided to go in the Minecraft wiki and search for the texture because I could not find the texture in my Minecraft folder. So you could do that as well. Just go to Minecraft Wiki, search up tall grass, and then download it. Save as image, you know. Wait right there. Don't go to the Minecraft Wiki and download the texture just yet. There's a problem with it. The problem is that the texture is 150 by 150 pixels. So I provided a link in the description to a texture that I made with the colors. The color isn't 100%, so maybe if you went into Photoshop and, you know fixed a little bit to make it a little bit more vibrant you could probably get the correct colors for the grass but I provided a, a link to a texture in the description if you want to download it otherwise you might spend like five hours looking for the perfect texture anyway continue okay anyway now that you've chosen the texture 
which I've chosen the texture as you can see here. You have to go down to image sampling, disable mip map, disable interpolation, go to feline and then click minimum filter size and make sure in the mapping section this is selected to UV otherwise this will not work. Now you may be wondering why can't I see the texture? Well you're gonna have to go into the UV image editor which you can do by dragging from this area in the top right corner going down to here and clicking the UV image editor. Now you're gonna click here go to tall grass and now this is your texture. Now you're gonna have to go back to this side whoops and then you have to press tab uh, so press T to make this down open close open close. So now you're gonna have to press T and then now you're gonna have to press U and then click unwrap. So now it's gonna put the texture right here. Now you're gonna go back to this side. You have to make sure your mouse is in the correct side, otherwise it would not work. Like if I press N here and if I press N here, it'll mess it up. So you're gonna go to this side, press N and click textured solid. And now you can see the texture on your plane. Hooray, okay. Now this is gonna be a lot of the repeat from the 3D pickaxe video. So after this bit, I suggest you go watch the 3D pickaxe video and do what I did with the pickaxe except with this grass because I'm not going to do the same thing again in this tutorial, okay guys? So yeah, now that you've got the texture on here, I'm going to let you be and I'm going to do a time lapse of, not time lapse, yeah, I'm going to do a time lapse of making the grass. So yeah, go to that video, it'll be in the top right corner or wherever and yeah. Just make make the grass like I did in the 3D pickaxe video. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is where we left off in the 3D pickaxe video. And now, once you're back into the Minecraft grass video, you can enjoy making some Minecraft grass. I don't know what that's meant to mean, but whatever. So this is what it would have looked like if it was in the 3D Minecraft pickaxe video. But now we need to make it grass. So, we're gonna do something called duplicating. We're gonna press tab. We're going to press A to select it, A twice, twice, three times, something like that, until until it's all selected, until it's all like this. And then you're going to press Shift D, and now you've got your duplicated. Now you're going to right click, okay, so like this, Shift D, no, that's Shift F, Shift D, and then you're going to right click, and then you're going to press R, press Z to go on the Z axis, and press 90 degrees. Now you've got your wonky grass, which actually doesn't look that great. So, I'm going to press Z and press 180. Now that looks better. So you're going to press 270 on the duplicated, and you're going to press nothing on the other one. So now this is grass. But now we need to apply this grass. And to do that, we're going to need to get a new... We're going to need to import an uh, object. No, not an object. We're going to need to import a world which is what the importing MC World video is for into this video into this blender file so that we can apply this so I'm gonna control s it's always good to save because otherwise well blender isn't really good with auto saving and now I'm gonna import a world so guys now I've imported the world now this world is from the importing Minecraft worlds into blender tutorial uh, yeah now we're gonna be able to use the particle system to distribute the grass which is all the way down here this is the grass right here all the way down here to all the way up here now this is what I was talking about earlier in the beginning this is the grass you do not want this is the 2D grass the one that has literally two plates and has texture slapped on it which is basically what it is in Minecraft right look one plane two plane one plane two plane but the one I have has all the textures and everything on it. It's a 3D model, which means that it will have all the shading properly and everything will be just right. Although this will lag much more because of the amount of faces on this grass, as you can see. 
One, two, three, four. There's so many faces on here that it's probably gonna lag a lot. So I'm suggesting you have a good computer before you do this. My computer's not that great, but you know, it does the job. Um, so yeah. You're gonna have to want to delete this grass now because you do not want the grass. And now, we're gonna have to apply the particle system. So go up, click on the grass, and by the way, these flowers, you can delete it if you want. Uh, this is the, basically the same concept for the flowers as well. You, you can do this with the flowers as well. Although it might not look as great as you can see right there. You can do this for the flowers. Unless you want to model it completely separate to like the grass. So you're going to click on the grass. This grass, not the tall grass. You're going to go to the particle. Particle tab in the properties. Click new. And now you've got your particles. Now this is going to lag a lot. So you're probably not going to want to... Uh, turn the number to really high like probably 100 is good it enough really for a world like this 100 is probably enough so you're gonna click on start you're gonna change start to zero which means because this is like a simulation it starts from zero it creates like particles and it starts from zero and you want to end it at zero because you don't want it to generate like grass in the middle of like when you're in an animation so you're just going to want to change it that to zero and change this to zero. Lifetime, however, this is what determines. So, see the length at the bottom here? It's 250 frames. So you're going to change lifetime to 250. This ensures that the grass will start at zero, end at zero, but live for 250 frames. So if you change this to, say, like, 756, you can change the lifetime to 756. If you keep at 250... Every frame after 250 will not have the grass. So you want to change it to 756. I changed it to 759. So yeah, uh, we don't really need that. You know what? It doesn't really matter. But where's the grass? There is no grass yet. That's because you have to actually add the grass. So we're going to go down. We do not want physics. You don't want your grass falling through the world, do you? Unless you do, which in that case, go ahead. But no one wants grass falling through the world. Unless you do, which... You don't, and yeah, stuff. You're going to click no on the physics, and then you're going to go to, no, you're not going to go to rotation. You're going to go down to render, you're going to click on object, and now this is the part where you add the grass. So if you see the grass here, what is the name of it? You can see the name of it down here. This is not the name of the grass. This is the name of the object. So the grass name is apparently plane.001, which isn't really a great name. So I'm going to go to the block and I'm going to rename it to tall, not like that, tall grass. Okay, so now this is named tall grass. So now if we click on the grass again, so we can go back to the particle system and then just go to the particle system right here. And then we click on dupli object and click on uh, type tall grass or whatever you named it it will now start to appear wait no it hasn't started to appear you want to know why because the size is 0 0.05 which is really small so you're going to want to change the size to one and now you've got your grass going th growing through the floor for some reason which is not what we want the reason the grass the tall grass is going through the grass is because the center the point of origin which is this, this dot right here, the point of origin on the grass is in the middle. And when you use the particle system, it emits from point of origin. So you want to go to the grass, press 1, press 5, press Z, and then you're just going to want to, no, nope, you do not want to do that. You're going to want to press T, and then you're just going to want to go all the way to the bottom, and click at the bottom, and click, you're going to press 1 to click here, and then you can press 3 to click right there. And that is not proper. So you're going to want to press 7 to go to the middle. And now, the point of origin should be near the bottom. So the grass will not be going through the ground. So now you're going to go to the top again. You're going to press 5 to get out of orthographic mode. And now the grass up here. No, we have not set the point of origin yet, actually. We're going to have to click on the object. Go down. Set origin. Now you press T to get that T, you press set origin, and then click on origin to 3D cursor. 
And now if you go to the top, the origin should technically be at the bottom of the grass now. So the grass should not be clipping through the ground, as you can see right here. Now, th the 3D cursor, the point of origin, isn't exactly in the middle. But it's good enough right now. Oh, my mouse doesn't work when I press this button for some reason. Okay, what is going on here? Oh! Okay, now it works. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, the grass isn't exactly on the point of origin, but it's almost unnoticeable, as you can see right here. There's a little bit of grass clipping through the ground. And as you can see, there's grass scattered all throughout the scene right now. There's grass here, there's grass there. Now, if you want to get more grass, you have to click on the grass. If you want to get more tall grass, you have to click on the grass. Because there's a difference between tall grass and grass. You click on the grass, and then you go up, and there's the number here. Now, if you turn it to like something like a thousand, that's going to lag. A thousand. There's going to be a lot more grass, but it's also going to lag much more and take longer to render, which is not what you want. So turn it down to something like maybe 250 would be a good idea. 250 is pretty good. And now all you have to do is render it, and you've got your grass. So anyway, guys, I'm Skelly Crafter. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, and learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other channel, Skelly Crafter. And yeah, have a good day, everybody. See ya.